Y'all know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. DreAllDay.com What's going on everybody? Dre Baldwin with DreAllDay.com. Today's video, we're talking confidence. We're talking confidence, a high level of self-belief, self-esteem. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take it to the extreme. We're gonna talk about being cocky. Talk about being arrogant. You ever had anybody call you that? Cocky, arrogant? You, you think too highly of yourself? Narcissistic, egotistical. You ever had anybody slap you with one of those titles or slap one of those titles on you? I have. People do it all, people have done it a lot, especially on YouTube, like in the comments and stuff like that. But listen, I embrace it. I'm 100% all for it. I am cocky. I am arrogant. And I own it 100% seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and twice on Sunday, like my friend Donna likes to say. I'm here to talk to you about why, first of all, why you need to start being cocky why you need to start being arrogant. And yes, I know what you're thinking. Like, what, Dre, you want me to be cocky? You want me to be arrogant? What if my teammates think I'm a ball hog? What if people think I'm better than them? What if people think that I think I'm better than them? What if people think that I think I'm too good for them or that I'm, I'm just too high up to be dealing with those people? What if people start thinking those things? I got you, I'm gonna cover all of that right here in this video. First of all, let's get to the points. What is cocky and arrogant? What does cocky, arrogant mean? And what does humble mean? Because humble is the opposite, right? I want to be humble. I want to be a good player, but I want to be humble about it. I want to score all the points, but I want to be humble. I want to go to the NBA, but I want to, I want to do it by being humble. I want to build my business, but I want to be humble. I want to be a leader and run my organization and be the boss, but I want to be humble. I want to be really successful in life and take care of my kids and take care of my parents and take care of everybody else in my family and reach all my goals, but I want to be humble doing it. What about those people? What about you all who are thinking that right now? I think many of you might be thinking that right now. What about that? I got you. We're going to cover all that. So we're going to talk about what is humility? What does being humble mean? What does arrogant mean? Because if you look up the definition for cocky, it uses the word arrogant in the definition. So let's just say arrogant and humble. Okay. Two different things. What does arrogant mean? Arrogance definition means you have an exaggerated opinion of your own importance. An exaggerated view of your own importance means arrogance, which means I'm going to just do this visually. That means you're here, right? but your opinion of yourself is up here. All right, that's arrogant. This is the definition, this is arrogant in pictures, okay? Humble means you have a modest or low estimation of your own importance. So that means you're here, reality, you, and your idea of who you are, your sense of who you are is down here, modest or low, because modest and low are relative. Remember, low means lower than where you at. High means higher than where you're at, okay? It's not equal. This is humble, low, and this is arrogant, high. All right, everybody got that? Now, let me ask you a question. If you had to go through the rest of your life with only one, which one do you pick? If you had to go through the rest of your life with only one, a higher belief of who you are or a lower belief of who you are, which one would you pick? You, you decide, think about that right now. I want some of you to think about that. I want, actually, I want all of you to think about that. Which one would you pick? Because many of you, as soon as I said, I want you to be cocky, you start thinking, well, I wanna be humble. I wanna be, you don't even know what humble means. Now you know. Now ask yourself this question. Do you wanna be humble? You really want, that's what you wanna do for the rest of your life? Have a low a low image of who you are now let me tell you why i'm telling you you need to be cocky let me tell you why because i'm not going to just tell you what to do i'm going to tell you why to do it and then i'm going to give you a step by step i'm going to give you some steps here i'm going to give you four steps on how to be more cocky and arrogant and trust me this is not this is not a joke but anybody watching this video thought this was a parody or i was trying to be funny i don't i don't try to be funny all right i'm gonna give you the, i'm gonna give you the real and if it happens to be funny cool i'm gonna give you the real and any of you who've seen my videos before even if you only seen one video i'm gonna give you the truth and i'm gonna tell you not only what to do but also how to do it and why to do it so let me tell you why you need to become cocky and arrogant here it is in life okay this is a fact facts only is what i'm telling you here in life you will reach as as far as your achievements in life will always equal up to your level of belief I'm going to say that one more time, then I'm explain what I mean. In life, your level of achievement will always, always, always equal to your level of self-belief. Now, I talked about this in detail in a couple of my TED Talks. If you're not familiar with what TED Talks are, that's T-E-D, look it up. But I have three TED Talks I've done. The second one I did was at TEDx Coconut Grove, Miami, Florida, February 2016. The topic is Dear Dre. The title is Dear Dre, How to Be Confident When You're Not. And that, that video, actually, the reason I made that, that talk, that TED talk, was based on the kind of questions people have asked me on YouTube for years. And I actually used actual screenshots from YouTube of comments people left me in my TED talk. So if you didn't see that TED talk, look it up. It's right here on YouTube or go to dreallday.com slash TED. My third TED talk, the video didn't come out yet, might be out by the time you see this, was at UNLV, University of Nevada in Las Vegas. Topic, 
too much confidence is not your problem. In that video, I explained what I'm about to explain to you right here. That video didn't come out yet, so I can't direct you to it, but it will be out at the link I gave you, dreallday.com slash T-E-D. So here it is. Let's say your reality, your skill level, like your, your ability, let's keep it on this side. Your ability level is right here, right? This is you, this is your skill level. And this could be very high or very low. We just gonna put it right there for reference, okay? And your belief level is right here. Actually, let's, let's make your belief about equal. Because many people think, all right, well, if I'm, a, I'm an eight in skill, then I should be an eight in the way I think. If I'm a three in skill, I should be a three in the way that I think. Like, the way that I think about myself should be about equal to where I'm at. I don't wanna be lower because then I'm not giving myself enough credit. You know, I'm, I'm talking down to myself, but I also don't wanna be higher because then I'm being arrogant, I'm being cocky. I think I'm all that, and when I'm not even that good. So I don't wanna do that either. I need to be about equal, right? Wrong. You don't need to be equal because this is why. Remember what I just said a couple minutes ago. Your level of achievement in life will always equal your level of belief. See, people got the equation backwards. They think, many people, some of you watching this right now, up to this day, you might be 30 years old, you might be 13, you might be 64, up to this very day, you have always believed that your level of belief should equal where you are in life. Like, you should believe in yourself about equal to what you've achieved. This is absolutely wrong, and this is how people remain average for their entire lives. This right here. Because they think, if I've achieved a 65 out of 100, then I should believe a 65 out of 100. Well, how are you gonna get any better? You don't. Do any of you know somebody who's gone three years, five years, 20 years, 60 years, and they never improved as a person? Their results never changed? They never got any better? They never moved up to a higher level in life? Do you know anybody like that who just stayed the same all through life? And I don't, I don't mean the same like they're still the same at their core, like being a good person. I mean the same like they never moved up in levels of achievement and success in life. Any of you know people like that? I know you do because there are entire communities of people all across America who are that. They start at one point and they stay there their whole lives. You know why? Not because they're bad people. Not because they're stupid. Not because they don't work hard. Not because they're... Not because they... Well, let me tell you why. All right? <laughs> they never... Nobody ever hits them in the face with this information I'm giving you right here. This knowledge that I'm giving you right... This ain't even knowledge. This is wisdom. Because I'm not just giving you information. I'm telling you how to use it and why to use it. That equals wisdom. Okay? This wisdom that I'm giving you right here... Most people never come across this. They never learn this. And the reason is because they never read and they never listen to people like me because this ain't so much entertainment. This ain't a rap video. This ain't you know, a, a, a joke. This ain't one of those videos where people do funny stuff where you laugh at or some dude getting hit in his nuts. It's not funny. So people don't pay attention to this type of stuff. It's called personal development. They never get this because they never pay attention. They never look for it. But you look for it, so you're in the right place. So let me get back to my point. Hey, witness on the beat. If your level of achievement is right here and your level of belief is right here, where are you going to go in life? Class, let's all say it together. You're going to go right here. Why? Because your level of achievement equals your level of belief. Y'all listening, right? You'll stay right here. Now, if you want to be humble, let's say you want to call yourself humble. I want my level. I want to be here. You just said you want to be lower. You know where you're going? Right there. Guaranteed. But now, let's say you went up here. Possibility. Let's just say for, let's just say for practice, all right? Just for fantasy. All right, I'm going to explain this in a second. Let's say you went up here, all right? Your level of achievement is here, but you choose to go up here. Let's say you did this, right? Where's your achievement going to go? It's going to go up here. Now, this sounds so logical and it makes so much sense, doesn't it? But there's a problem. Your subconscious mind says, I can't do that, right? I can't, I can't just start being cocky. I can't just start being arrogant. I can't start believing that I'm twice as good as I actually am. That's not going to work. I've been, why? You know why? Because for the last 15 years, 20 years, 60 years, you've been believing in this equation. So me telling you in eight minutes that you need to go to here, you're not going to just accept that just because I said it. This takes, this is going to take a little bit of work. It's going to take a little bit of practice. I'm going to tell you how to do that. I'm going to give you the steps. Stay tuned. Stay, stay here. Stay with me here. And also the other thing is, Dre, I don't want to be looked at as cocky and arrogant. I, I just want to be humble. I can be, you can be successful and be humble at the same time, Dre. Can't you? I mean, isn't Steph Curry humble? Isn't Kevin Durant humble? Isn't fill in the blank celebrity famous person who you look up to? Aren't they humble and successful at the same time? Let me explain you something. <laughs> Steph Curry is the cockiest motherfucker in the world when he gets on the basketball court. Believe me. Kevin Durant is the cockiest person, cockiest basketball player in the world. When Kevin Durant and Steph Curry both get on the court, they both think they're the best player in the world at the same time, even when they wasn't on the same team. And now that they're on the same team. LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, take any of their names, fill in any basketball player, any athlete, any business owner, any singer, any producer, any rapper, any 
priest, any anything. Whatever well, anybody who you know who is very good at what they do, you consider to me them to be one of the best at what they do. I guarantee you, when they get on the stage, when the camera comes on, when the mic turns on, when the audience is in there, when it's time to perform, they are the cockiest person in the world. They believe that their their level of belief is so high, and what they can do, you couldn't even you couldn't even I couldn't even do it. You can't you can't see it. Right. It can't go that high. All right, it's all the way up to the ceiling. Okay. Now, let me explain to you how they get there. When I go through these steps, I'm explaining to you how they get there because many of you, again, you st it's, it's kind of getting through, but you, you kind of open to it, but let me explain it, okay? Being humble is gonna keep you down here. Being, thinking equal, you're gonna be here. And thinking arrogant, cocky, what most people call arrogant or cocky, is up here. Now, let me explain to you why people call you arrogant or cocky. Actually, I'm gonna explain that in my steps. Let me get to the steps. How are you gonna do this? How do you become so arrogant, so cocky that your confidence goes super high and you just become this, this super you individual? And I got a book on confidence called The Super You, by the way. I'll show it to you in a second. How do you become that person? How do you do that? Let me tell you how. Step number one, you have to do the work to earn the right to be arrogant. Let me say that again. Some of you hey, wasn't expecting me to say that, were you? Here it is. <laughs> do the work that earns you the right to be arrogant. Okay, so Steph Curry, when he gets on the court, he's arrogant. I'm telling you he's arrogant. You know how I know he's arrogant? Because Steph Curry did the work. How do I know Steph Curry did the work? Because I can see his game. You don't, you don't wake up. You don't, you're not born with that. LeBron James, you ain't born with that. Kyrie Irving, you're not born with that. Beyonce, you're not born with that. Yes, they got talent. Yes, there's talent. But you got to work. All right, Beyonce, there's singers out there who are just as talented as Beyonce. They could dance and sing just as well as Beyonce at a, a raw level, but they ain't do the work. They didn't do the work. And they also didn't have that level of belief. They also, they was, they was doing this. All right, that's why they didn't get there. Just as much talent. Just as much talent. I heard Donald Trump say this, and I'm not a, this ain't a political thing. I just went, this was on The Celebrity Apprentice before he did the politics. He was on Celebrity Apprentice, it was his show. And he said, I know people who can sing just as well as Frank Sinatra. But you know what about those people? They're nobodies. These same guys I know who can sing just as well, even better than Frank Sinatra, they're complete nobodies. You know why? Because they don't know how to sell themselves. You know the reason why those people don't sell themselves? Donald Trump didn't say that part. This is all he said was what I just told you. I'm adding on. You know why those people didn't sell themselves? Because they didn't believe in themselves high enough to sell themselves at the level that Frank Sinatra did. See, Frank Sinatra is good. Frank Sinatra is not a one of a kind. There are other people who can sing just as well as Frank Sinatra. There are other people who can dance and sing as well as Beyonce. But you will never know about those people. You'll never know their names. They might be even basketball players with the talent that Steph Curry had, the raw talent like Steph Curry. I'm not saying they could go play like him now, but the raw tools that Steph Curry had. The difference is Steph Curry had that belief. Steph Curry had that belief. So you might say, oh, well, his dad played in the NBA. What about that? What about the college he went to? What about him getting drafted into the NBA? You think belief didn't have nothing to do with none of that? You're wrong. Belief has something to do with all of it. See, you control it 100%. It's not, it's not the college. It's not your dad. It's not your mom. It's not the town you was growing up in. Listen. You control it, 100%. Not about his dad, not about the college he went to. How many players in the league? What college? They all went to different colleges. How many players in the league who don't even know their dad? All right, so it ain't, about the, it ain't about the dad. It's about the belief that you got in yourself. And that gotta come from somewhere. Some people, they just they find it by luck. Some people find it by strategy. You find it by strategy. Because I'm giving it to you right here. I'm handing it to you. Here you go, baby. What you gonna do with it? So step one is do the work to earn the right to be arrogant. Because here's the thing about being humble, because you like people like, well, I want to be humble. I want to be seen as humble, Jerry. I don't want to be arrogant. I don't like people calling me arrogant. I don't want to call myself arrogant. Here, here it is, right? You need to be humble enough. Here's your life. Here are your goals, okay? Because goals mean something higher than what you've done, right? So this, everybody get this? Here's you. Here are your goals. You wake up in the morning. You know you need to get to this level. In order to get to this level, what did we already talk about? Your belief has to be here. In order to reach your goals, your belief must be at the level of your goals, not the level of your reality, the level of your goals. Because if your belief is at the level of your reality, you will stay at the level of your reality for the rest of your life. Your belief must be at the level of your goals. Anybody reading between the lines of what I'm saying here? This is called the be, do, have principle. First step, belief at the level of the goals. Second step, action. Third step, result. Are y'all following me here? I hope y'all not missing what I'm saying right here. So step number one, do the work. You got to believe when you wake up in the morning, this is you, your goals, you got to be humble enough, boom, to understand there's a gap between the goals and you. You must be modest enough, you must have a low enough assessment of your own life 
to know that you're not at your goals. You get it? You got a modest enough assessment of your own life to know you're not at your goals that you then do the work to close the gap. And when you close the gap, now you got the right to be arrogant because you close the gap. And now you know what you do once you close the gap? Set new goals. Do it again. Set new goals. Do it again. This is called life. At least it's called the successful life. Okay? Not the loser life. Here's number two. Point number two. Identify the average. Identify the average means there are people out there who are going to listen to this video or listen to you explain this video and they're going to say that's wrong. That guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Dre doesn't know what he's talking about. talking about being arrogant. You can be successful while still being humble. Don't be arrogant. Don't be cocky. You think you're better than us? You think you're better than everybody else? You think you're too good? You, you must be a ball hog. That's why you're shooting the ball so much. Who are you to think you can run your own business? Who are you to think you can move out of the neighborhood? Why do you think you got a, a higher sense of self than everybody else? Why don't you believe in yourself the same level as everybody else around here? Identify the average, ladies and gentlemen. 99% of people in the world are average. 99%. That's not an overestimation. 99% of people in the world are average. You know what they're going to tell you to do? This right here. You know why? Not because they're mad people. Not because they're bad people. Not because they're mad at you. Not because they're haters. Not because they're stupid. Because they don't know anything else. They're ignorant. Ignorance means you just don't know what you don't know. They don't know anything that I'm talking about here. If I said this to some, most of the people in the world, they'd be like, what the hell is this dude talking about? Him? What? Like, turn, turn, the rap, turn the rap video on. They don't understand. All right, they don't understand. Turn some reality TV on. They don't get it. Tell me, you know, tell me what the Kardashians posted on Snapchat. They don't get it. They're not speaking this language. So this ain't for everybody. This is for you, though. So identify the average. Know when you're talking to an average person, which is 99% of the time, because 99% of the people in the world are average. All right, I know you know some average people, because you can't, you can't not know no average people. It's impossible. All right, it's impossible for you to not know average people. I guarantee some of them in your family. Mine, too. All right, I'm not singling out nobody's family. It's just average people. It's just how it is. All right, now you can control that. Once you start being on a higher level, guarantee you're going to start attracting different people. Test it and see. Don't take my word for it. Number three, once you start achieving things, right? Let's say you start getting these achievements, you start doing your thing, people start knowing you for the things that you're doing. How do you get people to know you? How do you, how do you get more people to know your name? How do you get more exposure? How do you build your brand? Because the brand is not what you say. A brand is what people say about you. How do you get people saying stuff about you? How do you do this? Some people say, well, I don't want to brag, Dre. Right? I don't want to toot my own horn so much. I don't want to be narcissistic. I don't want people to see me as egotistical or cocky, Dre. What do I do then? Well, let me explain to you something. There's a billion dollar industry in this world that is 100% dedicated to one thing and one thing only. Telling everybody what's going on. Telling everybody what's going on is a billion dollar industry in this world. And it's, it's one word that all of you know. It starts with an N. It's called news. The news, right? Does the news come on on like four different channels in the town that you live in every single day? Uh, you got cable, wait, everybody got cable. News come on like 20 different channels. Is this true or is this not true? Are they like, is it true or is it not true that it's like 10 channels on TV that are 100% dedicated to telling you what's going on in the world? Is this true or is this not true? Now, if y'all didn't know, putting on a TV show or having a TV network is not free, right? There's money coming into those networks. You know where the money's coming from? Consumers. Money's coming from the commercials. The commercials are able, the people who run the commercials are able to pay for the ad time on these networks like CNN and MSNBC and ABC. You know what the reason why they're able to pay the money for the commercials, which are a lot of money that they spend? Because consumers go and buy the products when they see the commercials. So it all goes in a circle. We call this the, it's a cycle we call it the economy. But the point, the reason I'm saying this is this. There's a billion dollar industry that is dedicated to letting people know what's happening. So when you achieve something successfully, when you've done something, when you put in the work, when you earned your right to be arrogant, it is your job to broadcast the news. If you know news and you don't tell anybody the news, you are doing yourself and the public a disservice. I'm going to repeat that one more time for all of you who, who may be, let's just say it, let's just call it a free to toot your own horn, hesitant to put yourself out there. Let me say it one more time. Once you've done the work to earn the right to be arrogant and you start achieving things, it is your duty, it is your job, it is your responsibility to report the news to the public. If you know news but you don't tell it, who are you helping? Who are you helping by not telling people the news? If you've done the work and you know you're one of the best basketball players out there and you want a college basketball scholarship but you refuse to report the news to college coaches to get yourself out there, who are you helping? Are you helping yourself? Are you helping a college coach who needs a player just like you but he will never get you because you won't put yourself out there? Who are you helping? Are you helping the school? Are you helping yourself? Are you helping your family? Who are you helping? Nobody. By not reporting the news, you're not helping anybody.
oh, you've done things in the past. Let's say you've done a bunch of things in the past, but you don't want to feel like you're bragging when you tell everybody what you did. You don't want to feel like you're flexing on people or shining on people. Listen, telling people what you've done in the past, all right, that's not bragging. All right, we call that a resume. Right, you ever heard of a resume? A resume is a list of everything you've done in the past. True or not true? I know it's true. Called it In Europe, I think they call it a CV. I don't even know what those letters stand for. Somebody tell me. In the United States, we call it a resume. What you've done in the past is called a resume, a portfolio. Let people know what you've done. Broadcast the news, ladies and gentlemen. It's a billion dollar industry. That means the billions of people who want to know the news, give them what they want. Tell them the news. Here's step number four. Don't forget the work. The second you stop believing that you need to do the work to continue to earn your right to be arrogant. See, being arrogant is kind of like having big muscles. All right, any of you who lift weights, you'll get this. And if you don't lift weights, you're gonna get it real quick. See, if you, know, if you know somebody who got some big muscles or they're ripped, they got a six pack, or they're just in great shape. You look at their body and you're like, damn, this person must work out, they in great shape. You know what I'm talking about? Or maybe you're that person. This, here's, here's the thing. The second you stop going to the gym, the second you stop going and putting the work in, the second you stop running three miles every morning, whatever you're doing to get in shape, the second you stop doing the work, you no longer have the right to be arrogant. I'm gonna say that one more time. The second you stop doing the work, the second you start believing you've done enough work, you don't need to work anymore, you're, you are no longer qualified to be arrogant. You're no longer qualified to be cocky. You lost your strike. Everybody follow what I said right there. Let me recap these points. Number one, First of all, number one, what they are, humble, low or modest level of belief in yourself, arrogant, a high, over exaggerated, exaggerated level of belief in yourself. Pick one. Don't be equal. This is average. This is hell. This is where this is where 99 percent of people in life live. Don't be here. Don't be in the middle. Either go low or go high. Pick one. Why well, I'm telling you this, I just told you the level of belief in life is where you will achieve. Wherever you believe, you'll achieve. Wherever you choose to believe about yourself, that's where you achieve. But you might be saying, well, what if, what if sometimes I achieve high and sometimes I achieve low and sometimes I'm in the middle and then it goes up and down. I never know what to expect. What about that, Dre? That's because your level of belief keeps changing. That's because you can't decide what level you believe in yourself. You can't decide how confident you want to be. You can't decide how real you are. That's your problem. That's the problem that you need to fix. And y'all heard the phrase, right? If you believe whatever you believe you can achieve, whatever the mind can conceive, it can achieve. You heard that before, right? You believe it? Okay. Whatever the mind conceives, it achieves. It's not can, it, it, it will, it is right now. Look at your life. Your life is a reflection of what you conceive. All right, you can conceive whatever you want. You can think anything you want. Let me help you out. It's my book, it's called The Super You. Unlocking and living with your highest level of confidence, written by me. Super You is the you that you are afraid of being. Get this book. We got it digital, physical, and audio format. So if you don't like reading books, I suggest you start liking it. But if you don't, look, get the, get the audio book. We got it. Y'all know where to find books. I ain't got to tell y'all about that. Amazon, iBooks, Audible, wherever you need to go. Get the book. That'll help you out. All right? I'm going to help you out. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to help. That's why I'm telling you to do this. Everybody catch that. Everybody got that. Here's the step. Step number one, do the work. Be humble enough to know that you need to keep working to earn your right to be arrogant. That's step number one. Step number two, identify the average. Average people will tell you to do what average people do. Do you want to be an average person? You don't? Okay, stop listening to average people. Number three, the news. When you achieve something, let people know what you've achieved. Not letting people know what you've achieved means you're holding back the news, you're costing yourself money, and you're not helping the public, you're not helping yourself, you're not helping your family, you're not helping anything. When you know news, share the news. Number four, don't forget to work. Don't forget that you got to keep working to earn your right to be arrogant. As soon as you stop working, you no longer have the right to be arrogant. You are no longer qualified to be arrogant as soon as you stop doing work. Everybody, questions, comments, praise, concerns, criticism, leave them down there in the comments and know where to find me. My podcast is every single day. It is called Work On Your Game. My company, Work On Your Game. My Snapchat, at Dre Baldwin. Listen, y'all know where to find me. Just Google me. I'm every damn way. Why? Because I'm cocky as shit. I'm arrogant as a motherfucker. You know why? I earn the right to do it. Because I put the work in. Work on your fucking game. Dre all day. Dot com.